Get in. Hurry up. Get in the car. How do I get this thing back? Point to the thing! All right. I can't see out of the window. Give me something to wipe the window with. Give me something to wipe the window with! Okay, now you, you go out. You clean it. Get out of the car and clean your window. Don't you ever clean your window? Did you ever think about cleaning the car? Come on, come on. I don't got all day. Now hurry up. Give me a... See how you wash your car? You see how nice when a car's clean? Come here. Is that how your house is filthy like that? You see how nice the car is when it's clean? You see, now you can see? That's good. That's good. Get in your car. Come on, hurry up. Hurry, hurry up. Stop. And shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Filthy. Filthy. All right, where's the thing on this car? How do you put it in gear? Where's right the thing? Right here. What is this? Is this, is this a shifter car? I cannot drive a shifter car, right? So we got a little situation here. I can't drive these kind of cars. What the fuck is going on? You think that's funny? Would you like to know, smartass? Would you like to know why I can't drive this kind of car? I'll tell you why. I'm used to luxury cars. Have you ever heard of a luxury car? You know what luxury means? Have you ever heard of Cadillac? Cadillac Eldorado? That's what I drive. I drive cars that shift themselves. My cars shift themselves. They're luxury cars, they shift themselves. So when I say three, you follow my count, you come around to my door. You got me? One, two, three. What'd I just say? One, two, three, get out of the car. Get out of the car. And I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Don't make that face. Don't make that face. Hurry up! Pull away. Go this way. Wait, go this way. This way. Now don't talk, all right? Please. <clears throat> I need to ask you a favor. I haven't seen my parents in a long time, right? I just got out of jail. <clears throat> I was innocent. Okay. Before I went away, I made up a few lies. All right? I said I was married. I also told them that I worked for the government and that I would be away for a long time. Now, what I need you to do is I need you to come to my parents' house with me. All right? And pretend to be my wife. Acting. All right? Well, today's your big debut. Your big break. This is acting, all right? You're my wife. So that means you adore me, you love me, you cherish me. Jesus Christ, you can't live without me. Now, the story would go like this. We met in high school, and uh, we were sweethearts, whatever. You loved me, you've been in love with me your whole life, all right? And uh, your new name would be Wendy Bolson, all right? Don't worry about the details, all right? I'll take over. Just be nice. When you get there, be a decent girl, all right? Be nice. Uh, what's your name? What's your real name? Layla. Layla. No, that's no good. We'll stick with Wendy Balsam, okay? You're Wendy Balsam. So basically, what I'm asking you to do is I'm asking you to come there and make me look good, all right? And if you make a fool out of me, I swear to God, I'll kill you right there. Boom. Right in front of mommy and daddy. And I'll tell you something else. If you make me look bad, I will never, ever talk to you again. Ever. But if you do a good job, well, then you could be my best friend. My best friend that I've ever had. You hear me? All right. <clears throat> Let's keep driving, all right? We're going to go. Keep driving. What's your name? My name is Billy. Billy Brown. The story goes like this. One day, this big asshole comes in. He calls up a bet, $10,000 bet on Buffalo to win the Super Bowl. That's the win, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. The story is hard to believe, right? I mean, what kind of an idiot would bet, uh, <sighs> would bet on Buffalo to win a big game like that? It's true. I swear to God, it happened. I mean, this guy was so out of touch, he didn't even have the 10 large to cover his bet. 
Hey, tell somebody to turn up the heat. So, Billy, what happened was this book, he got so sick of hearing everybody's excuses. I mean, they're all the same, you know. Everybody's got an excuse. Anyway, this book, he got so sick that he just had to throw up. And the only way he could make himself feel better was to, to do bad things. <clears throat> to do very, very bad things to the excuse maker. And very, very bad things to the excuse maker's mother and father. So what do you say? Why don't we, uh, why don't we give this story a happy ending? I got a, I got an acquaintance, a friend, a very good friend of ours, and he just got arrested. Of course, he's innocent. Uh, his arrest is a, it's a goddamn injustice, tragedy. So, you, the asshole, will confess the crime of which he is accused, so as to free the innocent man. Now, if you fail to convince the court, or if you refuse to try to, and very evil and very bad things are gonna happen. Very evil and very bad things. Oh, and Billy, if Buffalo ever makes it back to the Super Bowl, <laughs> bet against them. Now get the fuck out of my sight. What is this? Is this a shifter car? You think that's funny? I'm used to luxury cars. I drive cars that shift themselves. My cars shift themselves. I need you to come to my parents' house with me and pretend to be my wife. Did Billy ever tell you how we met? <laughs> Billy's the nicest husband in the whole world. Don't touch me. What do you me. mean, don't touch don't me? You're touch supposed to be me. husband and wife. No, really. I'm the luckiest girl. What did you say? One, two, three, get out of the car. I fell madly in love with him. Oh! They haven't won a championship since 1966. And I missed that game because that's the day I had Billy. Did you like Buffalo, too? If you fail to convince the court, and very evil and very bad things are gonna happen. Can you go to jail or something? Yeah, but he was innocent. Remember that guy, Wood? No good! I'd really like to find him. Are you still gonna do that bad thing you said you were gonna do? He missed that field goal on purpose. He got paid money, and he missed it on purpose. Hey, tell somebody to turn up the heat. Who's the girl? I'm his wife. Oh! 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 She's not my wife. What did I just tell you? I'm not looking. Just imagining. I picked her up hitchhiking. I'm a free guy, you know, that's not my style. These photos are us in love, spanning time. Just look like you like them. That's it. Can you do that? Come here and give me a hug. Yeah. Ooh. I know what you're thinking. The story is hard to believe, right? You should have seen him. He was so beautiful.